All right, Shalom. First and foremost, Kwahala, Yahawa, Bashim, Yahusha, Bashim, Rakwaka, Dush, the Lord of State, had apostles of great millstone, have a well and peace and citations to all Yaki, out there on the highways and byways, noise in this road abroad, all around the world, through the spirit and power of our Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahusha. So it looks like we have this dust storm that's coming in, that's going to be causing a lot of problems. Um, So I got this article from USA Today. It says the the Sahara the, the Sahara dust storm has reached the U.S. mainland. Here's what it looks. So this dust storm that they've been talking about for a few days now has finally reached the United States. You know, I got this off of the Dabu Seven. You know, it was talking about this dust storm, but. This also correlates with scripture because the Lord said, you know, that these certain events will happen, you know, pursuing to, you know, I'm going to get that in a little bit, but, you know, in Isaiah. But let me just read a, um, a little bit of this and um, get into it a little bit, then I'm going to bring up the scripture. So it says, a huge plum of dust and sand blown by the wind from the Sarari Desert has finally reached the U has finally reached the US mainline. Has finally reached the U.S. mainland. It's one of the most significant Sahara, the Saharan dust events in decades. Forecaster say, said, the descent plumps of dust began to emerge of Western Africa last week, last weekend, and has now moved into the Gulf of Mexico and the South and the south the weather channel said the massive of extremely dry and dusty and dusty air known as the sararin air layer forms over the sararin desert and moved across the north atlantic every three to five days from late spring to early fall peaking in late June to mid-August, according to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. It can, it can occupy a roughly two miles thick layer in the atmosphere, the agency said. The main impacts of the Sararian dust are a whitening, of the sky due to the daylight hours, red earned sunsets and decreased air quality and the National Weather Service said. Here are a few images from social media of the dust as it settled over the southern US. Yeah, this is the most high bringing judgment, pretty much. He's allowing these dust to come over here because, you know, these are some of the plagues that the most high is bringing upon the land. And there's going to be even more plagues that's coming because what, you know, because with this, um, with, with these massive, with this dust storm, you know, It's gonna cause a lot of problems. It's gonna cause, and you know, and how it is, <laughs> you already got the U.S. You know, East already got people wearing these masks on a daily basis. So, how much more harder is it gonna be 
able for people to breathe now. Because by people wearing these masks and, um, you know, for hours and hours on day, you know, it's going to cause a lot of problems, you know. Because we're supposed to be breathing out the car carbon dioxide from our bodies and inhaling the, um, the oxygen that the plants release. And by Esau the disrupting the cycle, you know, it's just going to cause a lot of problems. That's why scripture says in um, Psalms that the foundations of the earth are out of course. And it is because this devil is ruling. And ultimately, the Most High, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahusha is bringing judgment. You know, and ultimately this place will be destroyed by way of thermonuclear fire. But let me just jump in the scripture though. So this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 29, verse 6. And thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquakes and great noise with storms of tempest and the flames of devouring fire. You see, the Most High is visiting this place, you know, and storms of tempest, you know, that, that dust storm that's, that's blowing in, you know. Over from the east to the west, you know, that's the most high bringing that storm. You know, that's that's a storm of tempers. You know, and it's going to be even more dust storms and more catastrophic events taking place and flames of devouring fire. And like a, a year ago or so, you had those wildfires that taking place over there in the west, in California and other western states. You know, of wildfires just burning out of control. And Esau, you know, can't even control them fires. You know, that's the most high bringing, bringing it. That's the most high bringing these plagues upon America. You know, for the wickedness of this place. Because this place is going, it's going down. Just like that sign that we just, that just passed, you know, last week, you know. When we just had a solar eclipse, you know, and that's a sign. So whenever these signs come to pass, you, you, every time, you know, we see catastrophic events taking place. Like, you know, we just had this 7.4 magnitude earthquake that, that done took place in Mexico, you know? So when these things happen, like, it's just like everything start, just <laughs> escalates, you know, you start hearing about things getting worse and it's only gonna get worse and even more worse. Because we're in that time, we're in the time of Esau's downfall, you know. So with that, I just wanted to bring that out, you know. Double honors to the head apostles of Great Millstone, and shalom to you brothers out there on the highways and byways. All praises and glory on to Yahweh Bashem Yahshai.